Friends, we're here at the Air Force booth, RAW booth, SHOT Show 2023. This is the RAW HM1000 Micro. Now, HM1000, not HM1000X, so it's a little bit different breach, a little bit different mag. Uh, but this is a gun that was showed off a couple of years ago and is finally coming to fruition. 177-22-25. Uh, there's some specs out there that are still TBD, but this thing is the sweetest little baby gun I've seen in a while. And ton, uh, I love this, brother. This looks great. Um, now, I've had an opportunity to shoot kind of a pre-production with you version of this, um, but this new shroud system, um, like... There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here with the, actually, it is called the Raw Micro Hunter. And this part thing. of our system, yeah. this is actually an adjustable bark stripper is what we we're calling it. Because everything in here, yes, it strips away the bark, the sound, adjustable, I see. tunable, and the best way to show you is with this picture right here. And in typical Tun Jones fashion, <laughs> you're going to have to come out to Texas <laughs> and we're going to have to test it. Oh, that's fine, buddy. We could definitely do that. <laughs> so basically all of these pieces in here are independently adjustable. Um, so, so it kind of functions as not only a sound suppressor, but also a tuner of sorts as well, yes. which is really neat. Um, so kind of the first time I've seen that. And then, of course, you do have uh, the half 20 threads here. Uh, which is awesome. So obviously if you want to affix something after the fact, you certainly can. Um, but the rest of this is really like Hallmark Raw. You've got a 210 cc bottle, 3000 PSI fill? Yes. Okay. So quick disconnect. You got your gauge on this side, all regulated, of course. Um, and this thing's going to be just a little sweetheart for those of you that want to go backpack hunting. And uh, I guess we're going to do that at some point. Yes, we are going to go hunting. You have no choice. Oh, good. I like it. All right, cool. Let's uh, see what else. This is the Air Force Talon Bolt. Now, Ton and I, you guys are going to be seeing this very soon, took an early version of this, and we went and slayed in Texas. And we had a great time. And Matt filmed the whole thing. So we are going to be seeing that here very shortly. But there have been some tweaks since the version that you guys will see in the hunt, uh, and this have kind of come to fruition. So um, just a 2,000 PSI fill. Let's start there. So Correct. that means for all of you out there, 490 cc's at just 2,000 PSI, not gonna be terrible to hand pump, all right? Uh, or if you're filling off an aluminum bottle, carbon bottle, whatever, it's all gonna be very doable with this platform. Uh, we have a new valve system thingy jig going on here because we're, we don't have back pressure, uh, but you'll see more of that when Ton and I get on camera about it later. Uh, it's gonna ship with two ring lock caps. So one that's gonna put out over 400 feet per second. I think the rating we're going with is 425, but I think it can do more than that, my opinion. Uh, and then a smaller ring lock cap that's gonna drop it down to like 350? 350. Okay, and that's gonna deliver more shots. It'll be, what happens is at 450, we use 50 PSI per shot. Okay. At 350, we use 45 PSI per shot. Okay. Gotcha. All right. So a little bit better. Uh, you're going to get a few more shots. That's the thing. And probably a little bit easier from an aero stability perspective, I'm assuming, or that I, that's my belief anyway. I'm not and assuming. And also I know. at that point you can use, it opens up to a broader variety of mechanical oh, yeah. broadheads. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. So like something like a Thorn XV is going to be money on this guy. Um, ask me how I know. You'll see soon. The arrows, uh, th this is a nifty little system. Not only are these glow-in-the-dark veins, and yes, they do actually glow in the dark. You can go to Tun's Instagram and see it happen. Uh, but also, we have this thing called the hit marker here. Now, I fully understand what this is as an arrow hunter, um, but Tun, can you explain for the folks at home that maybe haven't shot anything with an arrow before why the hit marker is significant? The hit marker makes a big difference because this will tell you about your shot. It'll tell you your shot placement, and it also will tell you if you have a miss. When you hit your animal, it'll tell you if you have the red bubbles, it'll tell you a heart and lung shot versus a thick red, which means liver, or if you get green bile, which is a stomach shot. That'll help you plan out your next step in your hunt, whether you need to wait 45 minutes for the animal to expire, or if you need to wait couple hours for your animal to expire or if you need to go back and learn how to shoot 
what are you doing? It'll tell you that right away because it'll be perfectly clean. Yep. Yeah. So there's not, just so it's clear, this doesn't like do a color changing thing or anything like that. When you hit the animal, obviously, when that arrow goes through the animal, you are going to have some residue left here, and that's going to help you determine what you should do next. If you gut shot a deer or whatnot, you're probably going to want to give it time, right? But if you get that nice red bubbly blood, get on your way and get on that blood trail because that thing's down probably 30, 40 yards away. So uh, this is actually a really cool system. Uh, quite frankly, a lot of manufacturers should take note of this. Just make your arrows white, makes everything easier, yes. but they also do get kind of dirty, but whatever. And the glow in the dark veins thing, uh, there is no Illuminox system for this. So, you know, if you shoot a arrow into the ground and it's sticking up and you can't find it, this is gonna help you find it at night. And these will actually glow really bright for a full six to eight hours, then 50% for the next 12 hours. And then by that time, daylight comes around again, unless you're in the North Circle of Alaska, <laughs> and then it'll recharge. So you have quite a bit of time. They do glow bright. Check out my Instagram. Yeah. It's a we put a lot of time and effort into designing these bolts. And the other thing to note here is that this is a really lightweight gun. 5.3 pounds. Um, yeah, this is an awesome gun for uh, those of you like me that don't want to haul around something super long and super heavy. So um, I think you guys are going to dig this. Obviously, we're going to have more content coming on this soon. So it's on the website now. You can go check it out, hit that pre-order button, and you will see a full review uh, and hunt with this and this guy very soon. So new for 2023 from Leapers is our AccuShot Pro line. Um, basically, you can consider this our mid-tier optics line with Integrex being our top tier and UTG being our lower tier, more budget friendly. It's basically taking the same design principles from our Integrex line, but made just at a more affordable price. For comparison, our LPVOs for our Integrex start around the 1000 mark. Our AccuShot Pro Series will be around the 600 to 700, kind of that sweet spot between um, high and low uh, budget friendly tier optics. Um, as far as design principles go, these are 34 millimeter tube optics, first focal plane. Um, some of the features will have different reticles for the same skew models, and these use these locking rings to unlock the windage and elevation, and you simply turn it to fix it. They also are zero resettable. Um, they are illuminated optics on the side via, via a digital press, and basically we wanted to provide a mid-tier optic so that it kind of fits with our model where we have optics or products for everyone, depending on your discipline, depending on how serious of a shooter, whether it's recreational, professional, competitive, we always have something for you. So basically this is the LPVO AccuShot Pro. It's a one to eight by 28. Um, it has a BDC reticle option in it. Uh, we're trying to release other optics, uh, options as well, uh, but you can expect one to eight performance, clarity being around 90%, light transmittance, um, glass edge reticles again, very fine reticle, the center origin of the reticles are the only illuminated part of the reticle. The rest of it is just bold black. All right, so new for 2023 from Leapers. Uh, our primary focus for 2023 is getting our Integrex line out into the marketplace. This is our premier tier optic, our highest end optic that we are manufacturing. Um, you can expect 92% light transmittance, very clear, high clarity edge to edge, not a lot of distortion around the uh, outer circumference of the viewfinder. They are running Japanese and German glass in all models, glass test reticles. Um, we kind of have three different areas. You have your LPVOs or your close to mid-range. Then you have your mid-range 3 to 12s or 3 to 18s. And we also have our more long-range precision type optics, like your 4.5 to 27s by 56s. Um, as far as functionality and feature set go, they feature a 10-hour automatic shutoff, red-green illumination, and they are all, all rated for 338 Lapua Magnum. Um, as far as the air guns and air rifles, we also have integrated into our testing protocols and also our QC protocols to uh, basically have uh, performance on bi-directional brake barrel air rifles and PCP. So we didn't forget about the air rifle community. Um, these are catered towards real firearms, but we all understand that air, air rifles can be just as brutal. Um, we are also um, potentially going to be developing air rifle specific models, so you may have parallax um, settings that are more catered to closer ranges, typical of air rifle competitions, as well as the adjustments per click catered towards air rifle competitions as well. So right here in my hands, you have your 3 to 18, and we have our 4.5 to 27 by 56. As you can see, they all have the similar functionality as far as how they work. You have your digital press illumination on the side, 
your parallax adjustment on the side as well. And then we also have push-pull turret, meaning you pull up on the turret to unlock it, you push down to lock the turret and your windage and elevation adjustment in place. Um, you can then reset your zero as well. Powering on the backs out of the box will also come with additional throw levers, um, depending on how fast you want to be able to manipulate or if it, uh, for during competition shooting, if you need to swing from low end magnification to high end. Uh, as far as diopter settings go, obviously we all have our diopter settings for your specific eyes. Again, running glass etched reticles. Um, as far as what reticles come with these, the 4.5 to 27 by 56 will be available in an MRAD style reticle uh, with your Christmas tree. We also have an MOA variant, so you can pick and choose whichever you prefer. Um, as far as this one goes, there will also be multiple reticle choices, um, primarily focusing on MRAD style reticles with or without Christmas tree for long range or your MOA styles. Again, center illuminated reticles, meaning the entire reticle is not illuminated, just the center origin. Hey guys, we are back at SHOT Show 2023. We are here visiting with Diana. This is the new XR200 PCP rifle. There is a lot going on here. This is gonna represent a fully German made PCP model for Diana, which we have not seen in a number of years. And there's a lot to like here. Uh, you have a threaded cover here, 8th BSPP size. Uh, so you are gonna be able to link up to this without a problem. There we go, you got that nice QD on it there. A fully shrouded system, carbon fiber shroud. And yes, I said carbon fiber. You can see it there on the video. This thing looks really slick. Now let me show you something cool. So this gauge system, a lot of you guys complain when you gotta look down the muzzle area to see your gauge. Well, Diana's flipped this around and check this out. This whole gauge assembly rotates. So if you wanna be able to see this from the left-hand side of the gun, when the gun's shouldered, you can. It's re this is really neat. Uh, 250 bar fill pressure, around 3,600 PSI. A multi-shot system here, 177, 22, 25, and a 30 caliber option. Side lever and the safety are reversible. So you can see you've got the cutout there on the opposite side. I've got my safety here, and you got, you got the same markings over here. So you can actually switch this around, whether you're a lefty, a righty, uh, this is really, really cool. They've made it a nice system for both left and right-handed shooters. And you can actually dry fire practice here by just flipping that to safe and then going back to fire, click. Now this is a version of the T06 trigger, so it's a very nice trigger. You guys are gonna like this a lot. You've got a nice synthetic stock here, good sporterized look with some nice grip on it. There is also going to be a uh, beach version available with an adjustable cheek piece as well. Uh, gonna come in a little on the expensive side, probably gonna be a higher end product around $1,000 or so. Um, I don't know if I mentioned or not, this is regulated as well. You were talking about 950 feet per second in 177, just slightly lower, still above 900 in 22. Uh, and 25, 30 specs are still figuring it out. So um, you are going to see this probably April, May of 2023. So good stuff coming from Diana. Hi, I'm Bill Gardner from Scout Air Guns. And I want to give you a little rundown about what this gun is, how it works, and some of its special features. The gun is very unique in that we don't use a standard hammer system. We use air to drive this gun, a small pot from a solenoid valve. That allows us to have tremendous control over the tuning of the gun. I'll move from uh, the back of the gun to the front of the gun. The gun comes with fully adjustable stock, cheek riser, um, very clean, clean action in terms of adjustments. We have um, electronics package in the trigger frame and a very, very light trigger pull. The, uh, the pull is so light that we have to add an additional safety. This actuating switch has to be hit before the gun can be fired because the trigger is approximately 80 grams, which is an incredibly light trigger. Um, there are no wires though. We use all gold pin connectors for our, so if you take the trigger frame off, it comes right off without any wires. The battery lasts a tremendously long time. If you shoot maybe a thousand pellets a weekend, you could, you could um, use the gun for about four, four and a half months before you'd have to recharge it. So, and it would only take 40 minutes to recharge that battery. The, uh, there's two regulators inside this gun. One is what we call the low pressure regulator. 
that regulates the pressure to the solenoid and the high pressure regulator, which is for your velocity adjustment. But it's a very unique high pressure regulator in that you do not have to degas your gun when you turn this regulator up and down. It, it's called balanced regulator and it will just vent out a small hole if you turn it in the direction that would normally damage a single stage regulator. So you have full adjustability without degassing your gun. On top of that, our barrel system is very unique. You actually get three liners, and these liners already come with carbon sleeves on them. And that it gives you, in each caliber, so that's not three different liners for three different calibers, it's in 30 caliber, for example, you get three liners. One is a plus, one is a minus, and one is the standard size. It allows you to use different pellets and to tune the gun for different pellets by picking a barrel liner that will fit the pellet better and makes it for more accuracy. You also get a compensator with each gun, excuse me, and this compensator has a component in it that needs to be changed out between calibers. I'll show you that component. So this shredder is changed out for each, if you change caliber, say 177 to 30 caliber. And for that matter, the calibers this gun's offered in is 177, 22, 25, 30, and 357 or 35 caliber. So we offer the full gamut. The barrels come in two lengths, 25 inch, which is approximately 625 millimeter, or 35 inch, which is roughly 890 millimeter. The pressures are much lower than most air rifles. For example, if I'm launching a 44 grain, 30 caliber JSB out of this gun with this long barrel, my plenum pressure is approximately 1100 PSI, or in bar, that's about 73 bar. So it's a very low pressure gun, which allows for good efficiency and, uh, uh, and very little kick and movement when you fire the gun. For example, we did most of our testing on efficiency with 50.15 grain JSB 30 calibers, and you can shoot approximately 100 rounds on a fill, which is pretty decently efficient for that particular caliber. Um, the gun also has a very unique barrel system. We use a ratcheting system. So I'm opening the ratchet, and I pull up on this lever, and the barrel will come right out. And then when I, I can lock it back in, push the lever down, and it'll ratchet the barrel. It's pulling two tapers together. It'll ratchet the barrel in place. And, and, and there's some positive stuff to that because we have contact all the way around the barrel pulling it into place. You just don't have two set screws or a set screw holding the barrel in in just one location. Uh, the magazines are all finely made um, billet aluminum, uh, not plastic. They're magnetic, so you open it. And you can see, wind. And they also snap back into place using magnets when they're in the gun. So they're self-aligning and they just lock in place. Many people wonder how this gun works. This is the entire valve in the gun, the only moving part. It moves 43,000 off the 400,000 seat to launch that pellet. We use low pressure gas in this gap to lift the valve and then gas goes down through the valve and shuts the valve, the same gas is firing the pellet very quickly. So we open the valve quickly and close the valve quickly, which allows for a very efficient shot. It comes with a uh, 20 MOA rail. Um, it also comes with a 500 cc bottle. And um, the price for this gun, the retail price, is $2,950.